This is Econ K88, and I'm in what's known as Uptown. Basically, a cousin of downtown Toledo. And oh, this area gets touted like it's something like Greenwich Village or Bourbon Street, New Orleans. And really, it's just a flop, just like most of the rest of Toledo. I'm on Adams and 13th. Toledo loves love, kind of a cool mural. Then over here is another abandoned building. Toledo loves gloves too. Kind of a nice uh, gesture, you know, people can toss, use gloves in the bin and it'll get in the hands of people that maybe need some gloves or other clothing in the winter time. Here's another abandoned building, this is uh, 13th Street. So this is the real downtown, folks. It's still the same dump that you remember it being 30 or 40 years ago. You just have to kind of learn to filter through all the downtown hype and homers and the newspaper and political machines that just continue to tell really tall tales about how great downtown is. Uh, this is 13th and Jackson. This is kind of a dead zone here. Remember all these empty lots had buildings on them. Yep, once upon a time this was a thriving downtown and if you look back at some of the historical records of this place, at one time Toledo had more Fortune 500 companies per capita than any city in the United States. I think that was all the way up until the 1950s. So, once upon a time that certainly is no longer. Now it's pretty much just a home of abandoned buildings and folks on government assistance, unfortunately. There's another one of these uh, famous apartment developments that wound up turning into government subsidized housing because they couldn't find enough people paying the quote market rate rent. And over here, this is actually the purpose of this video, here's another downtown business that has closed. Shaken Street Records, Movies, Music, and Games at uh, 1501 to 1505 and also next door. I did another video about this a while ago, the one that says, uh, believe it or not, 300,000 people live here. That place is closed and it remains closed, there's a for rent sign in the window. So just another downtown business that has closed, and I know that record stores are outdated and blah, blah, blah. I've already heard that from other people on a uh, Toledo posting uh, board. So I'm already aware of that, but that's not the point. Somebody still owns that building, and now they have an empty space, and they're not collecting rent. So... That's it for this one brief video. Again, just showing another downtown Toledo business has recently closed. This is Econ K88 signing off from Uptown Toledo. Ground zero for closed businesses. And yeah, here's another park that's being built. It's called Uptown Green. I believe this was uh, either state or federal grant money, $2 million blown on another park. This is complete waste. Basically this is Skid Row. This is the Cherry Street Mission Ministries uh, soup, soup kitchen. kitchen. Yep. And they're busy today and that's that's good because you know folks got to eat. A lot of these people will probably have substance abuse problems or disabilities or mental disabilities. Just various things you know I don't have a problem with that. That's the downtrodden sometimes need help as well. That's the Democratic Party uh, headquarters. Here's another abandoned building. I guess they're going to leave this building standing after the park is completed. Again, I know I've already shown these streets in other videos. I just wanted to get a quick message in about the newly closed record store on Adams. There's the Hillcrest Hotel, which has also been converted into apartments, which was another scam years ago a lot of government money a lot of handouts developer went bankrupt city of Toledo got stuck with the bill the only reason why this building is mostly occupied is because it has a lot of uh, HUD tenants a lot of section 8 tenants so 
again when you hear the stories about all the low vacancy rates of downtown apartments it's very misleading see the potholes in this road are just horrendous and winter has just started here so by springtime this road will be worse than anything that you'll find in probably uh, majority of third world countries the old Jefferson Center another historical building that the public school system wanted to tear down because they don't want any competition heaven forbid a charter school get a hold of a building and give them competition so they wanted to use our tax money to tear down a it's beautiful building yeah exactly and they actually got some pushback from the citizens here and they had to back down on that one but boy they 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 sure came up with plenty of rabbits out of their hat to try to give reasons why it should be torn down but fortunately for the city they were not successful that's it for this one please subscribe please comment please share thanks for watching